Esther, March 1. And who knoweth whether thou art come to the kingdom for such a time as this? Esther chapter 4, 14. A certain day was appointed on which the Jews were to be destroyed and their property confiscated. Little did the king realize the far-reaching results that would have accompanied the complete carrying out of this decree. Satan himself, the instigator of the scheme, was trying to rid the earth of those who preserved the knowledge of the true God. But the plots of the enemy were defeated by a power that reigns among the children of men. In the providence of God, Esther, a Jewess who feared the Most High, had been made queen of the Medo-Persian kingdom. Mordecai was a near relative of hers. In their extremity, they decided to appeal to Xerxes in behalf of their people. Esther was to venture into his presence as an intercessor. Who knoweth, said Mordecai, whether thou art come to the kingdom for such a time as this? The crisis that Esther faced demanded quick, earnest action. But both she and Mordecai realized that unless God should work mightily in their behalf, their own efforts would be unavailing. So Esther took time for communion with God, the source of her strength. Go, she directed Mordecai, gather together all the Jews that are present in Shushan, and fast ye for me, and neither eat nor drink three days, night or day. I also and my maidens will fast likewise, and so will I go in unto the king, which is not according to the law. And if I perish, I perish. To every household and every school, to every parent, teacher, and child, upon whom has shone the light of the gospel, comes at this crisis the question put to Esther the queen at that momentous crisis in Israel's history. Who knoweth whether thou art come to the kingdom? for such a time as this.